Hi everybody. My name is Antoine. All right. You face time here. Uh, facing before. Uh, facing foremost. Uh, what you have to do. Uh, click the link below. Oh, wait, wait, wait. If you one of the students who watching this video and you feel like this video was how very helpful for you, please leave a comments below so I can continue to make this type of video. You know, because then I know there are students who are watching this type of video. So you leave a comment to tell me, hey, in China, I'm one of those students who bear any comments you can leave below. And apart from that, you know, we have a program where we go and give back to the community, feeding brothers and sisters, especially homeless or people who are vulnerable. See, so they can stand on their own two feet. Apart from that, I teach them coding skills, Microsoft, Excel, how to fix PC and computer because that's my expertise. And also, I develop the talents. Any talents that do develop, that's what I do. And so I go and give back and let a brother and make a brother be able to stand on their own two feet. Now let's get started. Subscribe if you face time. So the question say here, uh, look, if you end a nominal interest, or oh, we have a nominal interest, so we're going to say interest of nominal N, 15.5%. Okay, per annum, compounded at the end of every every second month. So whatever they say, you say, okay, so that's compounded. Compounded, you can represent you using any letter, but my preference or a lot of books, they use N. You can use any letter. I prefer to use N. So now every second month, you ask yourself, how many every second month in one year? One year has a 12 month. So every second month means how many seconds in 12? There are six. Okay? So M is going to be equal to six. But if they say it was compounded monthly, and they say monthly, meaning M is supposed to be 12, because how many months in one year? Excuse me. 12 only. Now, let's go to the question. Let's continue reading on a saving account. Then the effective interest, oh, so they want interest of effective equal to what? So we have a little formula. So it seems like here we have a nominal and effective. So we have a formula which is involved two of them things. So we're going to say uh, one plus interest effective equal to bracket one plus interest of nominal over m we know our m for this case is six and the same thing right on the top here so now we want to find the interest of effective we have all the value here so one is just a one plus interest of effective is what we're looking for okay one plus interest of nominal we have 16.5 percent and then over six because our m equals to six in bracket six so we want to get interest of effective so we're going to say interest of effective equal now we're going to take one over so we're going to say all of this stuff one plus 16.5 percent over six multiply by six and this one is going to go over so it's going to become one means this one is going to jump over minus one so our interest of effective equal now let's plug in the calculator let's plug in the calculator one plus okay so we're going to say, uh, oh, there's no fuck. Come on, what am I doing right now? We touch the bracket, bracket, they say one is one, and the word plus with plus, and then fraction, fraction, 16, 16.5, 16, or 16, 16.5, 16.5, and they go shift, shift percent, and they come at the bottom, six, and they come here. Bracket and then you go power six and they come here and then you minus one. All right, minus one. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> All right, so now our interest of effective equal to zero. Okay, we can say interest effective zero print zero print. Uh, 0 0.176 176 76 but remember if you want to get interested you must multiply by 100 so this stuff here must multiply by 100 percent see what i mean so multiply by 100 percent so that answer we got you must multiply by 100 percent 
Oh, so 17.67, 17.67. So interest rate effective, interest rate, 17.676. But here in the answer is only two decimal places. So if it's two decimal places, and then we're gonna say now, I'm gonna play it here. But remember, when you approximate this number, if it's five or more than five, is gonna change the previous one, you because only two decimal place. So this instead of B7 is gonna be eight. Why? Because this is more than is five or more than five. So our answer is gonna be option C. Now let's go to another question, right? A. This is Pabalo. Pabalo invested. Oh, 1,500 in account, any interest per annum. So we have interest, so we have an investment principal. You can call, okay. This person invested means the principal amount equal to 1,500. But then, ending the interest rate of 6.57 per annum. But remember, this is the simple interest rate. So for simple interest rate, we have a formula for simple interest rate. Now, what is the time? They say, oh, the balance that he's going to get for 16 months is equal to. Oh, okay. So what time? Time, some people use T, some people use N, number of years, N, or you can say T, whatever you want. So our time is 16 months. But remember, your time must be in years. So take your 16 months, divide by one year. But what is one year? 12 months. And then this is going to give, you can leave the word how it is for now. Okay, so now we say, uh, since it's simple interest, the formula for simple interest say amount equal to principal one plus interest rate and then times number of years. Okay, so we're gonna say amount equal to principal. What is a principal? 1500 means this principal bracket bracket plus interest rate is six. 0.57% multiplied by number of years, which is here, number of years, which is 16 over 12 multiplied. Bracket. So amount accumulated after 16 months equal to, now we go to the calculator, baby. Let's go to the calculator, baby. So we're going to say 1,500, 1,500 bracket. One, did you see this? Okay, one plus, okay? And then we say interest rate is uh what is the interest rate 6.57 so 6.57 point five seven and then you come here say shift shift and then you go percent and then you multiply by fraction because it says 16 months and then since it's month we must divide by 12. Divide by 12. come here baby uh-huh uh-huh let's come in man close let's go quick baby oh Oh, oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So this is gonna give us, oh, wait, 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 I think I'm gonna mistake it. So 1,500, okay, come here, okay. Wanna make sure, okay, 1,500. Oh, 15,000, not 1,500. There's another zero here, my fault, so. Okay. So the answer is going to be 16314. 16. Okay, okay, let, let's check carefully. Let's check carefully. 30, okay, 15, 30, 11 plus 6.57% uh, 6 times 16 over 12. Oh, yes, yes. Come here. And this is 16. So 16314. 16314. And for that being said, now if you come here to the option, let's use this now. If you come to the option 163, 14, this is going to be option two. And listen, like I see, right? You can also check your ball on TikTok. I do my dance right there. I do my dance on TikTok. And check me out on Instagram so you can see the picture what we do for your brother and sister on, on instagram on tiktok the same name and twana underscore but hey do not forget to leave a comment very very important so i can continue to help you even if it's not you for the other people who does this module 
or they do this quiz or this assignment or this type of question. So I know, well, my beautiful familiar right there, they still want me to solve this type of question. But that being said, thanks a lot of your time and play. Check me on Instagram and the TikTok. Check your ball on the TikTok, man. When I do those dances. I'll see you soon. Peace and um.